Well, hello there, YouTube. Thought I'd come out here right quick. It, it's like 4.30 or something in the afternoon. It has absolutely been typhooning all day today. I mean, wind blowing. I hear things banging and crashing around. I don't even know where the sounds are even coming from. <laughs> so, yeah. It, it's How it's not snowing, I have no idea. It is one degree above freezing out here, and it's raining on me. I don't even know how that's even possible. What's funny is when Kelly and I were coming home last night, suddenly I'm all stopped up, so now that I decide to come out, take a quick little hello there moment, here comes the rain again. But anyway, on, <laughs> on our way home last night, it was so pretty and clear. We were looking at Mount Rainier and, and Mount St. Helens, it just, Beautifully packed with snow, gorgeous. But uh, yeah, they're gonna have a good layer of snow on them now. Look at that, it's been raining so hard, it comes through the carport here. Of course, everything's kind of sloping out this way. Surprised with all that rain that things aren't flooding out here. <laughs> that flinging off the plants and stuff there. Man. What a day. You feel almost imprisoned in your home. It's just too nasty to do anything. Ask Kelly, does you want to go anywhere, do anything? She goes, no, not in this weather. She goes, if you want to, I'll go. I said, no, I'm not really interested. Kind of nasty out here. Anyway, so I thought I'd just welcome you to the day right quick. Oh, all the bird uh, seed for the birds, oh man. They went through, we got three feeders out there and uh, they about cleaned them out. <laughs> this one big one, they can't get to that one so quick, but oh Lord, it's cool out here too. Speaking of birds, if the camera lens isn't full of water. Anyway, welcome to Saturday. <laughs> That's my little homegrown thumb wheel thing that you guys have seen. So I, I have some of those ones that looks like a little mini wheel that's there. You see most people using. And now that I got into this and started doing this, I, I it's like my phone's listening to me or something. All this stuff pulls up on YouTube now. I've even seen several people that have built their own thing similar to this. And you know how I was talking about the 60 degree thing? That seems to be like a common thread. So I'm not the only one to come across that should have been a little farther lower but anyway while the ebay ones are coming i found this one really cheap on amazon but it's one of the ones i didn't think about until i ordered it actually i looked at it and i seen the size of it and i'm going oh no that's going to require the the phone being off but i've been riding these things so much just one-handed because i just i need it to be that way um you know if i had to grab it it's going to be no be no big deal so i'm gonna mount this i think it was like 11 bucks or something i don't know if that'll point out who it was or whatever but the arm is adjustable you can see it's slotted so you can go in and out with it which would probably be important with the txi because it has that additional control wheel and if you're too close i'm afraid my you know be shifting in and out of first and second all the time so uh Let's pop the foam off of this thing and see how this thing comes out. I like cheap, especially if it works. And I don't have to spend <laughs> the crazy amount of time I did on that thing. And if I'm off on my degree, um, I just loosen it and it's quick. It's quickly adjustable. There's a little thumb wheel for that. This, you kind of figure out where you want it and lock her down. I won't lock tight it yet until I figure out where I want it. But let's uh, play around with the TXI radio here a little bit. I don't know if you, you can hit, literally, it's windy. It's like hitting the house sideways, the rain and everything. It's just nuts out there today. It's been that way. God, it, this morning it was just foggy and super, super cold. Then it warmed up just a skosh over freezing and then it started dumping. I'm not just waiting for the big snowfall to come. I just can't believe that you can be that close to freezing and um, be that cold out there. Not every 
everything be white. But let's play with this for a second or two. So it took some fiddling to get the angle I wanted out of it. I wanted it, I put it as far in as it'll go. The foam's in there. Then it was too slippery. So I used a, a little thing I got Kelly for Christmas for her little craft stuff, this little rotary tool. That thing's got nine million bits. That thing runs amazingly smooth. It's corded, but anyway, so I got, oh, got full motion. I kind of bumped that back switch, but you know, when you're riding along, you'll, you'll get your hand away from it. But yeah, heck yeah, that'll do the trick. I think I like my little, my little invention one a little bit better though. Just wish it was down a little bit. It's a little hard getting all the way up for that full right hand turn. And this one's down enough that that's comfortable. So that's the range I want right there. And I think those, most of those ones are keyed in, you know, they kind of clip in underneath the wheel. And I think they end up being, by the looks of it, pretty much the same as what that is. Roughly that 60 degree mark. Here it is. Wasn't sure which way to put the little knurling thing. It, and I found it was easier to adjust it from the bottom. So I left it on the bottom. That's sticking up. But I mean, it's, it's just a rough a transmitter, you know. It's just my little, my connection, my re remote connection. Yeah, this one, this one you can't get the Bluetooth dongle on it, so you can adjust some cool stuff, including the the car itself. Missing one of the mode buttons, transmission, and this multifunction switch. Good stuff, though. Oh yeah, you gotta have the diff locks all off. I think that's just rear. And that's all four. I forget which way it goes. I'm usually either off or all the way. <laughs> Most of the time off. It has more realism to it for some reason. Plus it turned really nice. All right. All right. Let's play with this thing here a little bit. I made a, a little course here. Just a two by four. Box nails. A brick. <laughs> There's the old the old Bronco. We'll just play around out here for a little bit and see what we come up with. Good, bad, or indifferent. How about that? This is the course at hand. Testing out the one-handed operation of the TQI radio for the Bronco. All right, so here's my first test. Let's just do a, a quick little run. I mean, I literally have not even fired this thing up with this radio. Thumb, thumb feels good. <laughs> Turn signals. I just love that. Is that cool or what? <laughs> This thing sure makes a bunch of noise with that with that thing in first gear, doesn't it? She just grannies right along. But that's really cool having that super low gear. Noisy. But these Traxxas transmissions are kinda noisy anyway. Oh, she's not gonna she's not gonna grab that. Nope. I was figuring the nails would be heavy enough that it would, it would grab a hold of them. That's where I'll test out my skid pans here because I think it hits this brick. Oh no, it clears it. How about that? <laughs> Let's get the get the nails out of the way here. Trying to get a a grip that feels good to me here. It'll all, it'll all come to you soon enough. The one nice thing about this one being as adjustable as it is is I can uh, it's not fixed like where I drilled into the 
Um, the uh, steering wheel thing there. Will she belly flop? If I oh yeah, she, something made a noise there, didn't it? I love how slow those Fusion Pro motors. I mean, it is crazy. And watch how it doesn't speed up when it comes down. Oh, there's my little trailer hitch. How about that? And I could, I was going to put it, you know, facing up, but I couldn't because the, uh, the ball hit the tire and it just didn't look, didn't look natural. I drive the dogs nuts in the house sometimes driving around they don't like it well they're they're cool because these motors are quite they're not making that weird uh, um, high pitch sound so uh, they're pretty cool with it anything with that hitch yet but that doesn't mean it ain't coming let's get a let's get a shot of it coming across the brake here wong, 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 wong. Man, I don't know what I would have done years ago with one of these rock crawlers and a motor that ran like that. I probably would have lost my mind. Still lose my mind over it. It is so much fun. It's just stupid fun. Do I say that enough? I'm sorry. Maybe I should say it some more. You're not hearing it. You ain't listening. You ain't paying attention. <laughs> Sure beats hanging out in the rain out there, doesn't it? A little shot time. I was gonna go out in the yeah, now I think my left turn is well, uh, just you know, you just gotta learn how to grip them. It all comes to you. It's like the uh, the TQ radio with the truck felt really strange at first. You gotta be, I think I have the punch set a little high. <laughs> Because if I get a little gr aggressive with the throttle, it it skips right along there. But I have the um, both of the uh, speed controllers set exactly with the same parameters. They're essentially the same truck, just a different body. Oh, I just dragged the trailer hitch. And this is an all. Oh. I wasn't. I had uh, uh, had half the diffs on. I think it's the rear is the one that stays on. And then when you hit all four, that's when it kicks in the... Uh... Yeah, she's a, she's a hitch dragger. How's this for some crazy excitement on a Saturday night, huh? Oh, there it goes. There we are.
we just we'll just full body go across and see if we can get anything to bottom out here. I think we are getting that hitch though, aren't we? Oh, found a problem with uh, diffs being unlocked. Oh yeah, she's like right there. Look at that. There's no clearance in that. All right, one more pass and we're gone. Yeah, see, I didn't. I, I just got weird on the finger there with the throttle. It, this one's much longer. I think I prefer it. I'll be in a little shorter. But that's all right. All right. So the uh, thumb wheel, little adapter thing from Amazon. She's a she's a win. All right, there, little Bronco. We're gonna conclude this. It doesn't sound like it's pouring down rain at the moment, and uh, we'll go in, do a quick little goodbye with you guys. Pretty cool, huh? Well, hello there, YouTube. Listen, it's the sound of no rain. Yeah. Which is very nice. When I left the shop and came back in, there was no rain. Even the rabbits were out roaming around in the yard. Well, that's good. Yeah. We've had enough rain for a year. Man. In one day. I, I just still can't believe there's not flooding out there. Yeah, it just never stopped. Wow, and the wind. Yeah. Earlier, there's things banging around. We're looking around. I go, what the heck was that? I have no idea. Probably tree limbs and stuff blowing all over from yeah, that was who crazy knows what. Wind. Yeah. <laughs> At one point, the rain just slamming against the side of the house. Yep. It was nuts. So it was an inside day. Yeah, it was an inside day. Dogs lounging. I mean, Everywhere. you're talking about a pitiful day. Mm -hmm. I think I took like three little naps. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got up super early. Yeah, I got up crazy early. Yeah. Fell asleep at the desk, woke up just before four, and uh, there may a couple, couple, three little naps. I've been up ever since. Yeah. But I, I think it was like 10 or 11 o'clock when I signed off. Yeah. I know yeah, I sat down tired. and I was transferring files or doing whatever. And, whoosh, I was out. So. <laughs> anyway, I think on that, we'll call it a day. Call it a Saturday. Alrighty, well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and you guys have a wonderful Sunday or Monday. Thank you. Hopefully, is tomorrow supposed to be a chance of being nice? It's supposed to, but I All don't right. want to say it because then I'll jinx it. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll see you then. See you in the morning. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>